Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome everyone here to Pechanga. Uh, welcome all of you out. Hopefully you'll get a lot out of today's presentation. I know I've been looking forward to it. Uh, the, uh, the group that, that puts on this, the Tomeka Chamber of Commerce, is an outstanding job. And of course the committee that puts this event together works very hard and diligently all year long. Um, I have a few uh, prepared uh, statements I'd like to make. And uh, uh, so I'll just do the official. Uh, just like again, uh, welcome you to Reclaiming California. Today you'll have an opportunity and a unique opportunity to participate in a panel discussion on topics such as water infrastructure and the state budget. The summit is your opportunity to hear about the issues that could affect uh, every business in the state of California. At this time, I'd like to uh, make one introduction. Our moderator uh, is this, this morning is Gene Wunderlich. Uh, it is indeed my pleasure to introduce our distinguished moderator, Gene. Gene is a 21-year resident of Southwest Riverside County and has been a realtor for over 15 years. He served as chair of the Southwest, California, Southwest Riverside County Association, as well as a member of numerous uh, chamber and community organizations, including a position of founding chair of the Southwest California Legislative Council, which he again will be chairing next year. He's the director of both the National and uh, the California National Association of Realtor, and serves as a, on a variety of legislative committees. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Mr. Gene Wunderlich. Thank you very much, Roger, for that uh, nice welcome, and thank you all for coming out this morning. A little bit uh, hazy out there this morning, a couple traffic problems on the 15. We appreciate you making it down safely. Um, <clears throat> I hope this morning we'll be able to provide you with some good information, um, maybe a ray of good news in these economic times, or at, at the very least, uh, just provide a little entertainment for you to, to uh, get your morning started on the right note. <laughs> Uh, as Roger mentioned, we'll be focusing on three main areas of discussion this morning. Water, the environment, and growth. Uh, you know, we were originally going to talk a little bit about jobs and the economy, but since we found out that the recession is over, uh, we decided there's no use beating that dead horse anymore. So, uh, although, again, given the, the exceptional nature of our panelists this morning, I, I suspect that jobs and the economy will come up a, a, a time or two. At this time, I would like to <coughs> introduce the panelists who will be participating in today's legislative discussion. Uh, Sacramento Bee columnist, uh, syndicated columnist for the Sacramento Bee, Mr. Dan Walters, is participating in our legislative summit for his seventh consecutive year. Mr. Walters just passed his half-century anniversary as a newspaper man just a month ago, starting his career as a copy boy for the Humboldt Times. By age 22, he'd become the nation's youngest daily newspaper editor, working at the Hanford Sentinel. He landed a job with the Sacramento Union newspaper <clears throat> as a political columnist. Uh, the same year, Jerry Brown became governor, oddly enough, and joined the Sacramento Bee in 1984, <clears throat> where he's been ever since. He's written more than 7,500 columns and a couple books about California and its politics. And his columns now appear in more than 50 California newspapers. Dan is also a frequent guest on national television news shows commenting on California politics. I would suggest to you that Dan knows more about California politics than almost anybody else in Sacramento today. And we always look forward to his insights. Mr. Dan Walters. <laughs> what Dan is to California politics, Joe Branich is to California business. Joe Branich is the preeminent business relocation coach who specializes in helping business owners expand or relocate in locations most ideal for growth. He informs me, with some regret, that his phone isn't ringing off the hook these days with people with businesses looking to relocate to California. In fact, not even one. Based in Irvine, Joe has gained more attention recently for tracking businesses leaving California and those redirecting capital to build facilities elsewhere that used to be built here. He appeared on Fox Business News last week with Stuart Varney discussing the fact that 144 companies made his list of California disinvestment events for the first three quarters of 2010. That's uh, more than triple the entire total for last year. 
Some of you may have heard Joe speak at a legislative summit held by our own legislators in Riverside earlier this year or heard him on CNN, ABC, CBS, or Fox, or seen his commentary in the Wall Street Journal or his numerous congressional testimonies. His wisdom gleaned from interviews with hundreds of corporate e executives can serve as a guidepost for our region if we hope to attract and retain local jobs. Please join me in welcoming Joe Varanich to the panel. 